Hey guys, Ruggably here, once again. What's up everybody? This week, you know, the past week or just past month has not been easy. You know, we had two, not one, two mass shootings back to back. And, I, and you know, over 31 people has been confirmed to kill. It was, I think it was 29, but now it went up to 31 because some people unfortunately died from their wounds from the said mass shootings. <sighs> it's been just terrible absolutely terrible to say the least and now again I don't want to get political but when you have people saying that your hobby is the reason that these that those recent events happen especially when there's research saying the contrary I gotta come out with, I gotta come out with a little, I gotta, I'm making this video saying you're full of shit Video games do not cause violence or cause these mass shootings that are recently happening. That's not the case. There's data that, can count, that, 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 there's data that proves otherwise, and you're. It's, and it's, let's, let's, say for, let's, let's call it for what it really is a distraction from the real issue, mental health issue, more importantly, more importantly gun control and universal background checks, amongst many other things that we need to do. I'm not saying for for everyone for for people for people's guns to be taken away. Here's a crazy fact. I'm a gun owner. I own I own a revolver. So I'm not against people having guns. But just like how you know you go to an airport, you can't just walk in like you used to. It's a process. I think it's the same thing to apply to guns. It should be especially especially guns with that with that with high with especially with machine guns. The, the, which people have been getting with ease should be a process. And my process is it should be get a mental health test, pass it, get a gun safety test, get a certificate for it, and then it should be right to buy the gun. Now, a, first, a person brought up a good point. Like, what if a person, you know, want to buy a gun because their, their partner's, you know, domestically abusing them and they want a gun for them to, to defend themselves? In special cases like that, they should get a friend to confirm that the person's not insane, that they're, they're more mentally capable of handling a gun, and try to waiver saying they take responsibility if anything happens, and then that person should get, a, should get a gun. In certain circumstances, they should automatically get a gun. You know what I mean? You should, shouldn't wait, you should automatically get the gun and have someone sign up. I'm pretty sure if they're good friends, they wouldn't, that person wouldn't do something to cause that friend to get in trouble. So in certain cases, make some exceptions. I admit that, but I think this is the worthwhile way to go because Japan and Switzerland have these kind type of laws and gun violence has gone significantly down. And we can't really trust people to, to, you know, to kill one another. And I hate people that say that, well, we shouldn't have these rules because people can do it regardless. It's such a silly and stupid thing. And, and, I, and, I, know, and I know two best friends, so I won't say, who use that rhetoric on Facebook. But to, with all due respect, and I just respect you guys wholeheartedly, but just because someone's going to do, do, do the deed that you feel like they're going to do doesn't mean we should have punishments for it. That's, that's like saying, oh, people are going to do this bootleg games regardless, or in our bootleg movies, we shouldn't have punishments for people to get caught. No, or pe we shouldn't um, have the death penalty because, or have people go to prison when they commit a crime, because people are going to commit crime anyway. It doesn't matter. People, there should be a punishment for said for thing they've done. You know what I mean? It makes no sense. Of course, people are going to do things they're going to do, but it doesn't mean like, oh, well, you know, we shouldn't do anything about it because people are going to do it anyway. But there still should be punishment for their consequences. Otherwise, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be no order. And, and, you know what I mean? Because that was the case where you're thinking that then there'll be chaos. I'm just sorry. It's just, a, it's just facts. But what I'm here to talk about today is freaking Walmart. You know, people were like, you know, I've seen people, you know, with their pitchforks and say how Walmart is the devil and it's evil. And I wasn't all for that because Walmart is like an ultimate, like, like a one-stop shop. You know, you can either buy, you know, make, for some Walmart's have I've been to have a McDonald's or Checkers to eat inside or. You can get your hair done in certain ones, or some of them if you want to have a bank account with them. You have a bank account with them. 
you, you know, or some Walmarts have a gas station. Some Walmarts have like a mechanic where they can fix your car. So it's they have a multitude of things, and it's very handy. You know, you want to, you know, you have, you know, for you got toys and bikes. They got multiple things for everyday needs. So it's not just you know, just one specific thing. So they're very they're like they're like the they're like a Swiss Army knife. Have a Swiss Army knife that has multiple tools they can use to get for different jobs to get it done. It's kind of that's what Walmart is. But I'm disappointed in Walmart today, obviously, if you, if you know me mentioning Walmart, know what they did. So apparently, they removed um, video game demos and displays, violent ones, from the, the, the violent ones from being displayed. Now, people are trying to, like, you know, make it seem like, all oh, Walmart stopped, stopped those ones, so any violent video games at all. That's not the case. They're still selling them. Is this not... You can't go to PlayStation and play like a demo of the exact game, or or they're moving like any rock marketing that has like guns in it or whatever. And I mean, it's just so so stupid. I mean, granted, it's not just games like hunting channels or like actual movies like John Wick or Expendables as a good example. That a lot of or, or movies that uses a lot of guns and violence with said guns are not going to be displayed on, on the TV monitors. You know, the, you know those, you know those, you know those, you know how like when we go to the electronic section in the TVs, they can display like, you know how like certain movies look in HD and stuff. It shows um, you know different types of movies or TV shows on it. So anything involving guns is not showing that either. So I guess one of those things that it's it's fair, fair play for everything. But I would be cool that they did something about the guns. They're still Walmart is still selling guns. You know, the core problem that's causing all this problem is still being sold. Yet things have nothing to do with said problems, like movies and video games, are trying to let me hide the way. It's just ridiculous to me. And now, it's not just Walmart. ESPN, which again, I, sh I am also ashamed of them as well, because... Freaking ESPN, you know, here, I, I, I have been, I've been here a, a few times. It's pretty great. Um, Apex Legends. It's pretty good. It's like a battle royale game from EA. It's pretty good because made by um, the same developers who did it. If you guys like Titanfall 1 and 2, did the same people that did that game. Also, was Carson doing the new so, uh, Star, Jedi Rise of the Order. Star Wars game that's coming out. They're doing that as well. The, 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 Respawn. There we go. Respawn Entertainment. We did Titanfall 1 and 2, and it currently did a new Star Wars game with EA. Did Apex Legends and, and it's in and and, 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 and uh, apparently you know if, if you've been keeping up, as you haven't, lately ESPN is showing esport type games, and um, though sometime this week they're supposed to hold a hold an event to display um, this Apex Legend thing that happened, one of the tournaments that happened, or they were supposed to hold a tournament or display a tournament. Point is, it got delayed till October because of the mass shootings. Again, the games have nothing to do with it. It's the people with, men with mental health issues, you know, people getting easy access to guns with no background checks, and white supremacists as well, in some cases. Yet, it's just, it's stupid. It, it pisses me off when I saw that. Because... Walmart is not going to show, is, is take out any demos and displays of video of violent video games, or not showing they're going to screen itself like anything with guns. But they, they sell the they, they sell the guns. They, they still want to sell guns. You know the thing that actually caused the damage at at a Walmart. I, I you know because I know you know the battle shooting took place in a Walmart. You know, is this and ESPN doing their shit too? With now it's so Apex Legend because the whole you know what happened, what happened with the shootings. It's like video games don't cause this, and I hate that our moron in chief Trump is like blaming not only video games but Hollywood for their violent movies. I'm like, God damn, guys! Like, I mean, it's not the case. It's not the case. Research has shown otherwise. It's this. I mean, for God's sakes, I saw a meme on Facebook that said it best how video games um, 
are the cause of violence. And as a means showing, you know, civil war, um, war, and, you know, civil, the civil war, World War One, literal two world wars, plus several other wars in between that happened before, before, before within the ninth, within the early to mid nineteenth fucking century. In fact, video games weren't even weren't even made until like this like late seventies, early eighties. You know what I mean with Atari and stuff. Even then, like some other game, I think Asteroids or whatever, or Pong or whatever, weren't invented like late seventies, early eighties. So what I'm trying to say is that it's it, it's ridiculous. People instead of blaming the actual problem itself, people and mostly our government want to point point at different things. Oh, when it was movies, it, you know, it, it, when it was it was when it was music. Music's as a devil, and then for then once and then when it once that phase passed and people thought it was bullshit, then it was comic books. Yeah, because comic books was also fun fact. Comic books was also blamed for a lot of things as well. Um, then TV was blamed for a while. Um, TV shows were blamed for a while. Then it went to movies. Now it's video games. Now it's online too as well. You know, Facebook, Twitter, and all that stuff. They're not. They're just shifting blame, and not actually. Going to the root of the problem at hand, it's pissing me off because I, I I can see through the bullshit. You know what I mean? Back in the day when I was younger, I wouldn't know that's the case. Now I've done research. Again, I'm gonna link to the video below on the on the, on the, on the show. I, I I know I've done it before, but Adam ruins everything. I know people are not big fans of the show. By the way, new season's coming out. I can't wait. But again, he goes into how it's not the case. Because again, he's He's with... I hate when people say, oh, his research is not factual. Yes, it fucking is. Now, if you don't like the truth of what he's saying, it hurts. I can't help that. Because it's not just him just spewing shit on his ass. He has a team of researchers. And on top of that, he, has a per, he, has a, he, he, he brings in a person who is an expert on said research that they're doing. And there's, like, links and tabs. You know, you can click, you know, and then they, they link to. That show that they're not bullshitting or making this shit up. So he made a video with his team showing that yeah, violent video games aren't the cause, and we're in, and we're like, and we're freaking you know, shifting the blame again. It's just, oh, it pisses me off so much. And of course, Trump like it's the video games and the movies. It's clearly not the guns themselves, and how it's easy, access, easily accessible and stuff. It's the games. I'm orange to love me. It's like, I cannot fucking wait to vote this motherfucker out. I cannot wait. I cannot stand his ass. And I don't care. He's a piece of shit president. Yeah, I admit he's done some good things, but he's also more, he's mostly done more bad than good. And by the way, fun fact, now he's a, he's a climate, deni climate denier which obviously, which is the case that the climate is changing. Scientists, you know, it's their fucking job is saying, hey, we need to change, otherwise there won't be a fucking Earth. And then now, you know, him getting doing unnecessary trade wars, is a fuck us, the common folk. You know, wasting money on a fucking stupid wall that's, it's, that's not a stop, that's, that, you know, for most illegals, you know, come in legally through the states and just overstay their visas, according to research. And in fact, you know, crosses have been at the all time low in recent years. And you know, now, you know, it's saying, and now it's none of the video game shit. It's just, and it's not just him, other fucking people are jumping this bad man. It's just, it pisses me off. Cause we're, it's like back, cause this is like, I remember when, when, the, when the 90s came on, that's what everyone was talking about. It's Mortal Kombat that's causing this stuff. I remember when, like, the two, remember back in the day, and it's, it's, just, it's funny how history's, history's repeating itself. I remember, like, back in the day, people were blaming Mortal Kombat and The Matrix for the mass shootings that happened back in the 90s. That was, a famous, that was an infamous mass shooting that happened in the 90s. I don't know, even some, even some sick people made a video, like, RPG video game out of it. It was fucked up. Um, but they blamed The Matrix and um, Mortal Kombat. Even though... Again, according to research, most of these mass shooters, when the ones that mass are caught, didn't even play video games. 
because it wasn't realistic enough. And the ones that did didn't like nine out of ten of them didn't even play final video games. In fact, the one in our, the one at the, the shooting, the infamous shooting in the Pulse nightclub. You know what his favorite video game was? Dance Dance Revolution. A dancing game. Was what he played the most. This is fucking ridiculous. I know there's a lot of ranting and anger. But it's the same bullshit that is being regurgitated and repeated and blamed when it, there's clearly evidence saying the opposite. And we're going and that now we have a fucking leader or in this case stupid leader is not is, is chanting this repeating the last thing that someone told him and then now he has other fucking morons following him too. And now because of the, you know what's going on, fucking Walmart being the fucking pussies that they are, is doing this shit. And then fucking ESPN being little pussies that they are Doing that, sh doing that, doing, taking away and trying to censor things that didn't cause the problem that's happening. You know, this is, God, this is fucking frustrating, guys. I, I, I'm sorry to be angry. I'm sorry that I'm, that I'm like, just a lot of repeating myself, like when this was first addressed. But it's just, it's infuriating. It's like, cause just, we've been down this road before. How many times do I keep going down this damn road? How many time? How many research guys tell you that? How many scientists guys say you know climate change is real? How many people guys say you know video games and violence aren't linked at all? You know? How many times do I have to go down this damn road? This is ridiculous. <sighs> tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, do the hell you want. I don't care. I'm just pissed off. This is stupid and dumb, and I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. <sighs> so Rocket Blade, signing out. Hold you together again real soon. Peace out. Have a, have a great day. Stay safe. I love you all. Bye-bye.